All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. The to the elders and the apostles of great millstones. Salutations to all the I can push me, pushing this word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Uh, it's like it. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and will call Jesus. Uh, Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, I'm your diary from the Great Millstone Branch around Chicago, and I'm back at you another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, No Escape in the Eyes of Yahweh. And hey, that's just what it is, man, because hey, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and a speckled bird amongst other nations, you uh, tend to believe that you can just do whatever the hell you think. And you think that basically you can do what you do, what you know is wrong, you know, going off, sinning. And you think that the Lord, you know, isn't going to hold you accountable for it, man. But hey, according to the scriptures, man, the Lord is recording every... Uh, a wicked act that you do man so hey you better come and repent of those acts or else man you're gonna be put to shame man you're gonna be put to death and you're gonna have to bear that shame in the kingdom man so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get into the scriptures really quick this is the book of ezekiel chapter 8 and verse 12 it says then then said he unto me son of man has thou seen what the ancients of the house of israel do in the dark every man in the chambers of his imagery for they say yahweh see of us not yahweh have forsaken the earth and, hey that's what our people do man our people go and commit all this wickedness, do all this wickedness, man. And they try and justify it by saying, uh, uh, the Lord don't see it, man. Or, or, or no, nah, the Lord don't exist, man. No, nah. when really in actuality, our people all know that hey, it's a higher power. And they know that they, they really believe what they, you know, they know it's a higher power, man. But yet they still do these things, man, that they don't, uh, that they don't want to be held accountable for, man. You know, and they try and use the excuse, oh, no, nah, it ain't no God, man. No, nah, man, I believe in them. They, man, they, they know, man, you know. And they, even for the people that claim they do believe in God, but still try and do things that, you know, are contrary to what he told you to do, man. Hey, the Lord is recording that, man. You know, you are supposed to live as a, as a blameless as possible, you know. And I'm not saying we, we got to be perfect, man, but you got to strive for perfection, man, you know. Let me uh, hit Ezekiel 9 and verse 9. You know, it pretty much says the same thing, man. It says, Then say he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great, and iniquity is sin upon sin. It says, And the land is full of blood. And it said, Judah and Israel, meaning both the, both the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. It says, And the land is full of blood, and the city of is Salaki, and the city full of perverseness. Right. And that's all you see within two thirds of our people, man, is just uh, bloodshed, man. Uh, robbery all types of wicked things you, you see the exact opposite of the law statutes commandments man and it says for they say yahweh have forsaken the earth and yahweh see if see if not right and they say oh no nah, man ain't no god man we can do whatever we want we our own gods man we our own lords man it says and as for me also my eye shall not spare neither will i have pity but i will reckon pity but i will recompense their way upon their head so hey the lord say hey i see everything you're doing and i'm not gonna pardon it but guess what? I'm going to require every single uh, wicked act that you did of you, man. And how's he going to do that, man? As it says in the book of Ezekiel, he said, uh, basically, since the house of Israel, you know, the, the Negro, uh, well, all the tribes, man, since we have, uh, well, two thirds have waxed dim. He said he's going to uh, put you in a pot, roughly paraphrasing, and, and, and melt you. He's going to leave you here in America and melt you, man. He's also going to give you those uh, four sword judges, man. So, hey, this shit is going to get real. You better repent, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the speckled bird. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter uh, 29 and verse 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who see of us and who know of us? Right, man. Hey, growing up, you always, especially, you know, Southern King, they hear that, uh, well, personally, well, me and my grandma used to tell me, hey, everything done in the, in the dark is going to come to light. And, hey, that's true, man, because, hey, everything that our people do that, that they think they get away with or they think, you know, going to be overlook it's not going to be overlooked man uh, except you repent man as they say in the book of proverbs uh uh it's like your psalms it says blessed is a man who the lord impute of not iniquity meaning blessed is the man you know you're going to be in good case if the lord blot out your transgressions man if you wipe them clear man but hey, you can only have that if you come back to these laws such commandments and come back to your true heritage and come back to your god yahweh man you know Continued on, it says, and their works are in the dark, and they say, who see of us and who know of us, right? It says, woe unto them. It mean, a destruction is to those that try and do all these, that, that not try, but, you know, do these things in exceedingly, uh, min, uh, it's like it, uh, super fluidly, 
you know, continually, continually, continue, continually, you know, it's like I got a little tongue twister there, man. But this is Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 27. It says, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from Yahweh, and my judgment is passed over from my power? And hey, that's that's another thing. Uh, our people seem to think that, you know, they they could just do whatever the hell they want, and they're not going to be required of it. The Lord is saying, why, why do you think that way? Literally, the scriptures tell us that we're in this position that we're in because of our iniquities, because of our sin, man. You know? It says, uh, who the Lord loves, he's chastens, man. You know, uh, it says that in the book of Hebrews, man. I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, it's all throughout the Holy Scriptures, man. It says, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching. So like, there is no searching of his understanding. Right. So, hey, the Scripture told you, like, it was like, why, why you think you finna pull a fast one over Yahweh, why Yahweh shine? You, you have have you have it not, have you not heard that it's no you know over overthinking or outthinking the most high how man the script man come on man <laughs> the script is cold man hey the script is cold man this is Sirach chapter 23 and verse 19 it says such a man only fear the eyes of men and know if not that the eyes of Yahweh are ten thousand times brighter than the sun because hey Jake Jake a bunch of hypocrites man you know they they won't do a you know a, you know a, a so-called illegal act according to the so-called white man the Edomite of the Bible they won't do that in front of a cop and it, actually some of them are pretty damn soup stupid side as children they they probably would but you know Jake are trying to be uh, slick with it you know for the for the so-called white man right it, it, they're you know they're uh straighten up their voice pull up their pants you know so they don't get harassed by cops or whatever man but hey the scripture said knowest thou not that the eyes of your how are ten thousand times brighter than the sun meaning that the hey the lord's oh, come on man it says uh uh beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts man so hey, everything that our people do is being recorded man whether it's righteous or good the lord says he's not unrighteous to forget your labors of love so he sees the good things our people do what the prophets do you know the prophets the the elect you know the one third and he see all the bad things the, the two the two thirds do man you know there's no there's no escaping the lord man you know as a job 11 11 it says for he know of vain men he see if wickedness also will he not then consider it and they i was reading in, a, in a, uh, another translation they said will he not take note of it man and hey this, the lord is like the master accountant man every single thing every precise digit time period stamp he has it uh in, in, a, in a collection man you know he's gonna talk about that in the book of uh uh Sirach 2 in the latter chapters now second address but we're gonna get that later you know this is Sirach 9 and 11 it says envy not the glory of a sinner for thou knowest not what shall be his end and right that's that goes for the men of the lord you know we're not supposed to basically or you know it, it goes in general man it says uh envy not the glory of a sinner right so don't don't be uh envious or covetous toward these people in the world you know these jakes in the world that so-called look like they winning but hey according to you know the, the scriptures man they they got a hell of a judgment waiting for them it says for thou knowest not what his, what shall be his end right and hey through the spirit we know that all men that's going that's doing contrary to you about shimmy i was shy they're going to be destroyed in in some very horrible ways man you know verse 12 says delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in right but remember they shall not go unpunished into their grave so hey, it, it, it it broke it down and broke and broke it down to you man it says so listen the stuff that the ungodly do you know all these wicked acts that i told you not to do delight not in them meaning don't take part in them don't have fun in them don't make them things something that you want to follow why because remember they shall not go unpunished until their grave so hey they're gonna get judged for those things man you know ecclesiastes 8 and 11 this is also why our people become lax at day school you know and thinking they can do what they want man it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil right Right, Jake think just because you know they can go ahead and, and, and break this law and break this law and break this law according to the the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the only true laws, and not get punished right then and there, you know, they think that they getting away with it, right? It says verse 12, though a sinner do evil one hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. Right. So it said, Hey, the Lord is gonna get them back sometime, someday. 
although you know it may not be right then and there they're gonna get punished for that 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 uh wickedness that they committed man you know it says uh but but it says surely i know there should be well with them that fear the most high which fear before him right it's gonna go well with well with those that you know feared the most high in truth and sincerity meaning had a uh, reverence for the most high didn't want to upset the most high how do you upset the most high by doing things that he told you not to do right it said it's going to be well for those that don't do the things that uh, uh that lead to death that lead to uh anger in your power verse 13 it says but it shall not be well with the wicked neither shall he prolong his days which are of a shadow because he feared before because he feared not before the most high right it's not going to go well with these people that so-called win according to this world that's doing all this wickedness and think they're getting away with it and promoting it it's not going to go well with them that's a uh the scriptures tell you horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation you know of the wicked generation roughly paraphrasing i believe that's in the book of uh the wisdom of solomon but you know continue on this is job 22 and 12 it says is not the most high in the height of heaven and behold the height of the stars how high are they and it says and thou sayest how doth the most high know can he judge through the dark cloud right our people say man man I can't see him, so you know how you know he don't he don't exist or he don't see me. It says uh the, the scripture telling you like, hey, the most high is above you. He 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 sees his eyes are everywhere. And that second Peter is gonna get to it. It says, uh Can can he judge through the dark cloud? Thick clouds are covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit circuit of heaven. Has thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden down? Right. Like have you went and seen, you know, have you not Took, paid attention to what happened to wicked doers and and according to uh, Romans 15 and 4 it was written four times for our learning and our understanding that we may have faith you know roughly paraphrasing so like I know I kind of bushed it but it's saying up in this Job man have you not marked the old way which wicked men have trodden right have you not seen what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah have you not read the stories about uh the the first flood man why because people's being wicked the Lord flooded the earth and saved about eight, uh, saved eight people, man. You know, that's the stuff you have to think about, man, you know. <laughs> and hey, there's this assurance that, hey, the Lord is not going to let you get away with it, man, you know. This is 2 Peter 2 and verse 9. It says, Yahweh knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Right. The Lord, he going to make a way for those men, those men that sigh and cry, you know, those that are elect. But it also says to reserve the unjust, the ones that's not walking uprightly, until the day of judgment to be punished, right? So, hey, the Lord has a judgment uh, deemed for all these wicked doers, man. It says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanliness and despise government, right? You you uh, just do whatever the hell you want. It's all wicked, and you just do it upon your belly. It says, and despise government, right? You don't want to uh, cement yourself to the will of the Most High. It says, presumptuous are they self-willed, meaning... <laughs> Uh, let me look at that word presump presumptuous really quick. Look up. Yep. Yeah, this is decent. It says of a person or their behavior failing to observe the limits of what is permitted or appropriate. Right? They just they basically have no uh care. You know uh what's the word uh not it's like nonchalant uh damn it slipped my mind. It's, I, I know it's uh. Damn. Presumptuous are they? <laughs> one time, I believe that means carelessly. You know, uh, one of them is carelessly. You know, a synonym at least. But it says self will meaning you do whatever you want. You do what your belly say. You do whatever you know. Your it's your lust at that moment uh, does. It says they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Right, speak bad about the men of the Lord. Do whatever they they the hell they want. You know, throw throw things try and harm them in the lord it says whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusation against them before the lord so hey the angel <laughs> these niggas hate snitches so much hey hey the lord got spiritual uh spies all around them recording them every wicked thing that you do man and this, it says it right here in the scriptures man as well as the physical uh snitches so to say on a, on the planet earth the the prophets man <laughs> And that's the same thing we doing against you two thirds, and it's crazy because I was watching a video earlier. A brother was going in on this man, He's saying basically how we uh, uh it was a, a brother Bakar. He did a live stream with another brother. You know, I had caught a few uh, a few uh, minutes of him, man. But hey, we testifying against you people, you know. 
This is a uh, second address 16 and 62, which says, Yea, in the spirit of the almighty power, which made all things in search of all hidden things and the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and will hide their sin. Right. Hey, the most high knows what you people feel in your mind. You know, you say you love him, but you be in your, in your heart saying another thing. He knows that. It says, wherefore, it's like it says, and therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. Right. Two thirds of our people are going to wake up to that shame and everlasting content because they despise the governments. They didn't want to repent. You know, they wanted to do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Jeremiah 17 and 9 to uh, really quick. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? <laughs> Hey, and I, hey, that's our people. Even, you know, some people that say, oh, I'm down for the cause. Hey, the Lord knows your heart, man. You're not going to pull a fast one on Yahweh, Yahweh, shy at all. Verse 10, I, Yahweh, search of the heart. I try the reins, the deepest part, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Right. And hey, the Lord is going to reward you in your works, whether they righteous or wicked, man. That reward can be good or bad. Second Edger 16 and 65. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men. And your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before the most high his angels? Right. And hey, hey if you don't get in and start repenting uh, as soon as you hit a word, man, all your sins are just going to be testifies against you, man. The Lord is going to show you everything that you did, man. You ain't going to have no excuse. Nobody's going to be there pleading your cause. You ain't going to have an intercessor, intercessor, you know someone to uh, plead your cause man you're not gonna be covered by the bloody how shot right it says behold the most high himself is the judge fear him leave off from your sins so stop the wickedness that you're doing and forget your iniquities don't let it weigh you down don't mess with it no more leave it off to meddle no more with them forever right uh be renewed in the spirit you know become a new creature in hamashiach it says to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Right. And hey, we finna enter into a time worse than ever before. And the only way you're going to get out of it is if you're doing the will of the most high, you know, and I'm going to end it off with this Daniel 12 and two, because hey, our people got to realize that they will not be acquitted of the wickedness that they do. You know, Daniel 12 and two, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt and a two-thirds of our people are gonna wake up to uh are gonna wake up to shame and everlasting contempt the men of the lord are gonna be in a kingdom we gonna make it uh in the first uh in the first uh uh first resurrection man you know we gonna make it man you know but a two-thirds they're gonna die on this side and learn it you know as it says in second address nine uh learn it by death by pain you know and uh, they're going to learn righteousness then. They're going to learn Yahweh, Yahweh shot then, you know. So, hey, Lord willing, this was just a quick edifying video. You know, it was kind of like a, uh, it was initially inspired off a lesson. The brother uh, Kadar from Cleveland, you know, the Cleveland camp did. I had called his and, you know, I just want to add a few uh, scriptures onto it. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying, uplifting. Call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstones. Salutations to all the I can push the word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.